Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this tutorial is how to do an independent samples t-test with the data. So what we're looking at is the data file for lab number three. And for the first hypothesis that you'll be reporting is we're going to be comparing men and women on their average type 1 error rates. So this is a between subjects design. And the way that the database is set up for a between subjects design is you've got your variable that identifies group membership. So in this case, we have a bunch of ones and twos, and the one tells us that the participant is male, and a two tells us that the participant is female. So for example, this participant here is a male and had a type one error rate of 80, uh, whereas this participant over here is a female and has a type one error rate of 63.63. .63. So basically, to test the hypothesis, we want to figure out, is there a significant difference on average type 1 error rates between men and women? So this is how we do it. First thing is we want to make sure that all of our men are clustered together and all of our women are clustered together. It'll just make it easier when we copy and paste our data. To do that, we click on the column for I. And if you see this little arrow here, it says sort A to Z. Actually, that probably falls outside of your screen. Um, we can go over here instead. So if we click on data, you can sort the sheet column I for A to Z. So if you click on that, notice now all of the ones are together and all of the twos are together. And it rearranged the entire database. So if you look to the left, notice that the subject numbers are now kind of scrambled um, because it rearranged the data. All right, once you've set it up this way, what we're gonna do is we wanna highlight the type one error rates for all of the males. So notice for all of the ones, we're just highlighting their type one error rate because what the program's gonna do is it's gonna calculate the average type one error across these numbers and the average type one error across these numbers to see if there's a significant difference between them. So we're gonna go ahead and copy these data. We're gonna to go to Vassar Stats and we click on T-Tests and Procedures, then to Sample T-Test for Independent and Correlated Samples and then we're doing the independent samples t-test. So if you remember when we did the paired samples t-test way back in lab one, we clicked on correlated samples. So there's basically two versions of a t-test. Right, so for this one, we're doing independent samples. We're comparing two groups, sample A and B. So sample A will be our men. So that's where we're gonna paste our data. We go back to the raw data. Now we highlight all the data for women. We're gonna copy that, so Control C. We go back here, and then we paste it. And now we've got all the data for women. And if we scroll down, we click on Calculate, and that's it. That's how we run the analysis. So from our output, we can see that there were five people in sample A, 21 people in sample B, the average is 81 for the first group, 63 for the second group. So just looking at the means alone, I mean, it looks like men do have on average a higher type one error rate than do women. But we need statistics to tell us whether this difference happened by chance or not. And if we look at our p-value, we always go to the two-tailed by default, we can see that this is not significant. Right. For this to be significant, it would have to be less than 0 0.05. So what we found is a non-significant difference between our two means. Here's our t-statistic, which is what we report in the results, and there's our degrees of freedom. The last thing I wanted to mention really quickly is how do we get our standard deviation and which will be reported in the results section. And we also need to get standard error, which is what we use to create our graphs. To do that, we go to our basic sample stats. Okay, so vassarstats.net slash basic.html. And then we can enter the data for the men and women separately. Well, I'm going back, I'm copying the data from the men, pasting it. And then when I click on calculate, 
it's got the sample size of five, we've got the mean, we have the standard deviation, and we have the standard error. So this is what we use for our error bars. And please check the video on creating bar charts if you're unsure how to use that information. Uh, we can reset that, and then we can get the data from women. So copy that. Oops. Paste. Calculate. And if we scroll down, again, sample size, we've got our mean, and standard deviation, and standard error. So this is how you run your analysis, your independent samples t-test analysis on Vassar stats. Um, if you are choosing one of the other variables, so let's say you want to compare section one uh, with section two, uh, I believe one is in person, two is online. What I would do is I would copy the data. I would move this one over. Whoops, not like that. Not like that either. Let's try that again. Actually, since I already ha I just copied sex over here, I'm just going to delete the data. There we go. All right, so if I were to get the section, I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it over here. And notice it's already sorted with all of the ones that are together and all of the twos are already together. All right, so if you were to do this one now, you'd be highlighting these data, type 1 error rates for section 1, versus the average error rate for section two. All right, so do that for any of these variables, right? For year of study, we've got, technically there should be four, I think in our data set, we've got second, third, and fourth year students. I think the easiest comparison would be, you know, maybe doing, combining second and third versus fourth year students. That might be a good one to do. Or have you played soccer before? Zeros and ones. So compare all the zeros with the ones. Or if you supported New England versus one of the other teams, and you can sort it that way too. So there's lots to choose from. Uh, go ahead. Let's take a peek and, and, and see what we find. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know.